awesome thing about having early morning lift is you get to see the sunrise. Look at how gorgeous it looks. Wow. Hey guys, I'm meeting Kevin Malone. We all know Kevin Malone from The Office. So Jarexel's Instagram posted Kevin Malone was gonna come to our bookstore for a book signing of his new chili cookbook. I am so excited. My parents have been watching The Office since it started airing on TV, so I've always watched. I googled it because I couldn't remember the exact year, but The Office apparently came out in 2005. I was four. I basically have known Kevin my entire life, so I am so excited. I feel starstruck. So far, I'm the first one here. I didn't know how many people were gonna come. I still don't know how many people are gonna come. It starts at 10, so I got here at 7. And you best believe I'm the first one here. How iconic is it to publish a chili cookbook? Because we all know the famous chili scene. So I am sitting on the floor, talking to myself, talking to you guys. First week of classes, the first week of getting back into the swing of things with softball, with the team, and not just working out on my own. Let me tell you, my body is so sore. But his life, you know? It's always crazy because you always hear everybody talking about how no matter how much you've worked out, how much you've practiced, the first week back is always killer. Always. It doesn't matter what you've done. It certainly gets you. Let's get into it. If you see my lovely setup over here, we are going to be making another one of these. So this is the goal. It's pretty simple. First, I need to cut up these bags. That way we can make our leaves. Bam! The bag is cut. I'm going to have to make tiny leaves. Now I have my rectangles and I'm going to go ahead and draw up the leaves. But while I do that, I'm going to fill you in on some intel, okay? The leaves really don't have to be perfect. They just have to get the job done. When I was a freshman, one of the lessons that the seniors would say was, it don't gotta be pretty, just gotta get the job done. And I think I live by that quote every day. But that's not the intel I was gonna tell you. I was gonna say, so I had this whole whole plan of making a first week of senior year video so you guys can get an insight on everything that I do. You know, lift, practice, class, study hall, extra work, seeing all my teammates, stuff like that. However, I hit a roadblock and let me tell you why. I lift every day at 6 a.m. And do you know what that means? That means I have a very tight schedule of when I wake up, brush my teeth, and out the door and when I make it to actual lift. So when I lift at 6, that means I have to leave my apartment by 5.45. How can I be most productive with my time? Let me tell you. Over my four years, I have perfected, perfected this routine of going to lift. Every year I have lifted early in the morning. So what I do is I have lift at 6. I leave by 5.45. If I wake up by 5.30, I'm all set. I'm all good to go. 5.30, good to go. That gives me 15 minutes. That gives me 15 minutes to wake up entirely, brush my teeth, use the restroom, put my shoes on, put my socks on, get my water bottle, and be out the door. Within those 15 minutes also gives me five minutes of wake up time. That gives me five minutes to just lay on the bed and stare up at the ceiling, sit up and just sit there with my eyes closed, but I'm actually up. That gives me five minutes to play with. That gives me 10 minutes to hunker down and get my stuff together so I can be out that door and at lift. The tactic that I found to be the most beneficial, let me tell you, I've been a good, I've never even seen Harry Potter. The tactic that I have learned was inspired by my two deals, two uncles. I'm not gonna name them because that is for me to know and you to not know or probably know if you're watching this and you know them. I have these two uncles who are pretty close in age. That means if they went to school together, they were around the same age. The first deal, he was prepared and would get his outfits ready. He would iron, set them all out nice and neat, get them ready for the next day. But he would lay it all out and get it ready. Only to wake up to his brother wearing said outfit. His brother would take the outfit that his other brother set out and prepared and ironed and got entirely ready and he would wear it to school. So do you know what my Theo did in order to wear the outfits that he put the hard work in 
to set out, he would sleep in them. Yes, he would put them on before he went to sleep. That way his brother couldn't take them. And I have it on good authority, I don't know if it's true or not, that he may or may not have also slept in the shoes. Now that could be exaggerated through the avenues of getting this story spread throughout my family. The tale says that possibly he also slept in the shoes, that way his brother wouldn't take those as well. How is this relevant, you may be asking? Although it is a fantastic and hilarious story, my solution is every night before lift, instead of wearing normal pajamas, I wear my lift clothes. Yes, I sleep in my lift clothes, and when it's cold, I sleep in my lift clothes with my sweatsuit on top of that. That way, I just wake up, use those five minutes to mentally prep for the fact that I'm waking up at 5.30 in the morning to go to 6 a.m. lift. I wake up and I'm already ready. That way, all I have to do is put on my socks, my shoes, brush my teeth, do my hair, grab my water bottle, and be out the door. Can you give me a more time-effective solution? I didn't think so, because then, what's the other alternative? I wear pajamas to bed, I wake up and spend five minutes trying to figure out how to open up my eyes and find my shirt and my shorts and put it together? No. If it was super hot and I was sweating all night, I would not be wearing my workout clothes because that would just, I don't want to be smelly before I actually leave. To be time effective, I sleep in my lift clothes. I will ride and die by that solution and that tactic. I will. I think it's great. I've been doing it since freshman year. I don't think anybody told me about that, but I felt inspired by my deal story and I used it to my advantage. Is the entire story applicable? No, I felt inspired. So yes, I sleep in my lift clothes, that way I wake up and it's just chop, chop, chop. And then I go to lift, I get there, I work out, I get the job done and I do it all again the next day. I would highly recommend if you have 6 a.m. lift, do what I do, not everything that I do, but wear your lift clothes to bed. It'll be a game changer. You don't even know. It will change your life. Anyways, thank you to that feel. If you know the story that I'm talking about, comment a clothing item emoji. I think it's the smartest thing, so I do it every single lift day. That's why I was like, I would love to make a video to show you guys my week. However, if I already have this routine down to a T, why am I gonna wake up an extra 30 minutes just to show you guys a fake me waking up because obviously I would have to set up the camera and act like I was asleep and then be like <sighs> Like just getting out of bed. No, that's not me. I don't wake up like that. I lay down I wake up and I sit there like this for about five minutes Contemplating why I made the decision to lift every day at 6 a.m. After I'm done I'm grateful that I lift every day at 6 a.m. In the process. It's a little tough Especially because I don't sleep, you know? I go to sleep every day around 12 to 1 a.m. Which isn't good when you're waking up at 5.30 every day. I'm running on not much sleep. Waking up early, it's a battle every day. So I hope you enjoyed this fun fact. If you do want to see a week or a day in my life of me waking up, going to lift, and going to practice, and going to class, and doing all that, I will definitely give you guys that. Just let me know. This is the video explaining why this isn't that video. Peace out, guys.